Welcome to the latest edition of Career Videos by the Knowledge Academy. Our today's video is about what are the various TOGAF architecture principles. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and enabling that bell icon next to it so that you would never miss out on any of the informative content that we put out. So without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for this video. Initially, we will be going through the various TOGAF architecture principles, and then we'll go on to see the principles, characteristics, requirements, and then see the architecture principles characteristics. TOGAF Architecture Principles The TOGAF principles offer a collection of guidelines that will provide your company with a distinct architectural structure for your business success. The most productive businesses in the world use the established enterprise architecture methodology and framework provided by the Open Group's TOGAF standard. The enterprise architecture standard that is adopted and trusted the most ensures that the practitioners follow the uniform standards, techniques, and communication. The guidelines and the rules that an organization adheres to are called as principles. These principles can be applied at distinct levels across the platform and assist companies in maintaining efficiency. The policies and guidelines that are distinctive to the architecture of an enterprise are known as architecture principles. These are a subset of the IT principles. Enterprises operates their information management systems or IMS and other IT tools according to the architecture principles. Other cooperative guidance may be restated in the context of the architecture principles in a way that successfully directs architecture development. The Open Group Architecture Framework, or the TOGAF, has outlined a collection of 21 effective architecture principles. There are four distinct domains or subsets of TOGAF architecture principles for the 21 principles. Business Architecture It deals with your business strategy and execution of business processes. Data Architecture it deals with the management and framework of the data resources. Application Architecture It deals with the personal application systems and how they operate with each other. Technology Architecture It deals with the prerequisites that are necessary to keep the enterprise operating smoothly. Principles, Characteristics, Requirements Typically, your enterprise architecture should include 10 to 20 guiding principles. The adaptability of your architecture will be improved if you have fewer architectural principles. On the other hand, few will lead to the generic statements that can only be accomplished in a practical, realistic way. Maximize Enterprise Benefits Information management system must always be made with the enterprise's best interests in mind. This implies that what seems best for one organization within the company might only be the best decision for the company. To a great extent possible, all parties involved in the venture must be willing to cooperate while adhering to the guiding principles. Information management is everybody's business. According to this TOGAF principle, all enterprise groups must be involved in all areas of information environment. This idea reiterates the value of the collaboration across an organization. Everyone must accept responsibility for maintaining their information and making significant decisions. Business Continuity According to this principle, Business operations must continue despite system interruptions. In other words, even while we all rely on the technology systems to complete our work, we still need to be ready to maintain the business even if such systems fail. Data as an asset All data is tangible, priceless asset to an organization. It's a true quantifiable resource. Data must be carefully structured and handled because the data is the foundation for all business decisions. Everyone in the company should know that their data is accurate and reliable. Additionally, they should be able to obtain the pertinent information anytime. Shared data or information According to this principle, 
data should be shared through the entire organization and stored in a single application. This is crucial to ensure that everyone working for the company has access to the information required to perform their duties. It is far less expensive and simpler to store all the data in one rather than multiple applications. Accessible Information This implies that everyone in the organization needs easy access to all its data. As a result, work is made simpler. One of the impacts of this principle is that there must be some degree of flexibility to allow all the various company members to access data in the way that suits them the best. You can see how strongly these ideas, data as an asset, shared data or information, and accessible information all relate to one another. Easy to use applications. The more people need to understand the technology employed, the less productive they will be. The concept of ease of use encourages people to use apps. It enables users to carry out their tasks within the integrated information environment rather than using separate systems to carry them out in non-integrated corporate setting. Most of the skills needed to use systems are pretty similar. Formatting is reduced to bare minimum and risks of system misuse become minimal. Finally, IT and business alignment. A more substantial alignment between the IT and the business must give the financial institution a competitive edge, which is what this concept means by service above all. Decisions based on the corporate perspective are more valuable eventually than those found on the viewpoint of a particular group with a specific interest. Architecture Principle Characteristics Let's go through some of the architecture principles characteristics. 1. Name The name should be short and distinctive while yet capturing the essence of the rule. No particular technology platforms must be mentioned in the name or the summary for principle. 2. Description The key principle should be stated explicitly in the description. The majority of the information management principles are described similarly from firm to company. 3. Rationale The advantages of the firm obtained by adhering to the principles are illustrated using business terminology. Similarities between the business principles and principles of information and technology should be emphasized. The explanation must also illustrate its relevance to other concepts and objectives when compared to a balanced opinion. When describing situations where one rule supersedes another, during the decision-making process, it should be utilized with clarity. Finally, Implications This underlines the necessity for businesses and their IT teams to follow the principles in terms of costs, expenses, and duties or operations. The commercial aspects and implications of a principle's adoption must be carefully considered. Thank you for watching. Did this video inspire you to advance your career in enterprise architecture? Then let our industry mentors guide you on your journey to becoming an enterprise architecture professional. The Knowledge Academy is the world's largest training provider for courses such as the TOGAF, PMP certification training, PRINCE2, and many more. Visit our website to get details about our courses, get in touch with our consultants, and inquire now.